Hello YouTube's Krosama. And here we have today from the Figure Eye Standard line is going to be the Diver Ayame. Now this is an avatar utilized by Aya Fujisawa. So she essentially uses this avatar to navigate through the GBN world. And she, you know, of course she meets up with Riku and all the friends and they go on a cool adventure. Now her main mobile suits that she utilizes is going to be the SD mobile suits. Uh, but she does have some of those capsule SD like little gashapons that she utilizes in battle as well. So let's just take a look look at this actual kit because it's pretty unique and the fact that it's kind of this more humanoid and we don't really see this too often in the past with the Fumina and you know Sarah Diver Nami we seen it more mechanicalized so with this kind of straying away from you know a mobile suit or you know mobile armor or anything of the sort that is attached to these type of female uh, model kits uh, we're seeing more of a natural skin tone flesh and everything so really awesome and I'm actually very excited to go ahead and show you exactly what is going on with this kit so let's just go ahead and dive in but first let's go ahead and hear from sponsor and this video is sponsored by newtypehq.com you can go over there pre-order this kit and you can get 10% off by using that promo code Krosama and while you're there maybe check out some of the other figure eye standard kits but on to the review so the first thing I want to say is wow the attention to detail on this kit is actually pretty damn good the plastic quality and very easy assembly is just going to make this build a great enjoyable time overall. So the details with the hair sculpt is going to be pretty cool. Um, now you are going to have those little nasty seam lines right etched in there but you know obviously if you just get some semen you kind of just sand it down uh, it should be fine but ultimately you really only want to do that if you are going to paint this kit. Now for the body, she is going to be sporting a nice red scarf around the neck. Uh, the purple is going to be for most of the body and then it's going to have a lot of white in the waist area. Now the little pockets on the side, that's actually supposed to be more grayish according to the actual manual. And for the arm, she is going to be sporting some purple with the flesh tone color. And down at the leg, she is going to be sporting some nice dark purple with some white. So now on to articulation. So overall the articulation is going to be pretty damn good. The only limitations I'm going to be seeing is going to be in the hips because the skirt is really going to kind of get in the way with some of those dynamic poses. Uh, but you're really still going to be able to get the desired poses that you actually want. So I really wouldn't look at it as too much of a con but yeah it is going to get in the way at times. So now what about all of our accessories? So before I show you all the different faceplates, I'm going to show you all the water slides once again. Uh, so I did use just a few and you'll see them on the actual kit. And also for the sticker sheet, you are going to have more eyes. And then you're going to have some white stickers right here, which are going to be right here on the legs. But I just decided not to put them because I'm probably going to paint them in the future. So the first faceplate is going to be the ninja mask one like you've already seen throughout the video so far. Uh, and the way to actually interchange the faceplates is very simple. You pretty much just take off this front cover, pop the hair off, slap the new faceplate right there inside, and finally put the hair right back on. So this is going to be more of a blushing face because it is going to have the little blushing marks pretty much etched into the face. And I just decided to put on the actual stickers and not the water slides so that way you can definitely see the difference. And so with comparing them there really is going to be a difference. You're going to see more of the outline when it comes to the sticker. Uh, whereas with the water slide it seems to be more fused in with the actual part which that's pretty much how the water slide should be. So the water slide is definitely going to be your go to.
So this face plate is going to be a frowning face. There's not really going to be any etched in effects like the blushing, but you know, if you want something that's a little bit more basic, uh, this is definitely going to be the one for you. So this one's a little bit like the previous blushing face, except for this one's actually smiling. So with that, I actually decided to put the little star eyes on her. And it's gonna come with a little stand so you can put her in some pretty dynamic poses. You just connect this little piece to her back and then plug her right in. And she is gonna come with two kunais as well as two gripping hands. leftover parts you can make a bust uh, the only thing that you cannot recreate is going to be parts of the arm because it's not going to have the actual shoulder joints uh, but other than that I mean you can just swap out the arms on the base kit and add it to her and if you want you can attach your body to the base while sporting her companion the Zero Maru you're gonna have a lot of extra little face plates but unfortunately you're not gonna have any of the extra skin tone face plates so without that to go over it uh, these are, I'm not going to say worthless, but you can't really use all these. And you're going to get a bunch of leftover parts. So you're going to have parts for the arm. You're going to have more parts for the arm, parts for the leg. So all this, you can try and use it, but for the most part, it's not really worth it. So with this being the third in the Build Iris Figure Eye Standard line, I can definitely say I'm excited. It's very awesome to actually have a very good female, you know, model kit lineup that's, you know, from Bandai. Otherwise, you know, Kotobuki is going to be dominating the market with the Frame Arms Girl as well as the Megami device. So it's really good to have a competitor such as Bandai because all that means is, hey, competition breeds excellence. So if we keep having both parties trying to like, you know, trump each other, then ultimately we are going to get better and better kits. And what I'm hoping with this line is that they don't just stick with the females, but actually go more into the males. So if we can get maybe like a Char, Amuro Ray, Banarji, um, anyone really that is pretty damn cool, especially like a Hero Yui, that would be pretty damn cool. And, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens in the future, but I understand the female line is going to sell probably way more than the male line. But regardless, you know, hey, I have high hopes. So let's go ahead and move on to my final thoughts. But that's all for me, guys. So I definitely appreciate all of you for watching. So you haven't called me back in a while. So I just came over to you know, see exactly what's going on. What? Who is that? Sales at times. And if you use that promo code. Sweet mother of God. I'm here, baby. Arigato. I don't know what the hell you just said, but I'm glad you're safe. Steve's here for you. One day you'll be mine. One day. Like always, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. But I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.